Dave Palumbo here with an RX Muscle News update. The Chicago Pro is let out. The Friday night festivities are over. Tomorrow will be the open. Today was the 212 Classic Physique, Wellness, and a, a few other uh, categories as well debuted today. And what a battle we had in that 212 division. Oh my God. Keon Pearson, the guy everyone was talking about. We wanted to see him. He skipped the Olympia in 2020 after making a big splash in his debut in the 212 class after moving up from Classic, obviously winning that event in 2020. We wanted to see what he was going to look like here. We've been waiting, and you know what? He delivered. The guy made improvements. He's bigger. He's better. Could he have been a little tighter? Absolutely. But he has such genetic gifts between that small waist, the way he moves, the way his muscle bellies flow. It's hard to beat someone like that unless they're really off. And he was not off here by any means. He could have been better. And I think he will get improved from now, between now and the Olympia. But, I mean, this is Keon Pearson's show to lose. And he certainly didn't lose it. Um, but having said that, the other two guys in this class that play second and third, Mohamed El Dasani in second, Kareth Bajo in third, so close that you can flip a coin, really. I mean, you can make a case for any one of these guys to win this event. That's how good they all are. El Dasani, major improvements from last year as well. Polished muscle, great tan presentation. The guy has got all the bells and whistles also that you look for in, 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 a, in a bodybuilder. I mean, the conditioning of these guys was, was amazing in, in all of them. I mean, Kareth Bajo, you know, might have been the best condition of all of them. I mean, and he made serious improvements from last year. I know I help him. And, man, he worked his butt off, literally, uh, to make it to this show and make a statement here. And he, and he did. I mean, top three at this show, it, of the, the level of caliber of athlete that was here, these guys are top eight all day long at the Olympia. I mean, that's they're going to be in that group. We're going to see these guys battling on the Olympia stage. This was a really, really good 212 event here in Chicago. And you know what? We knew as we started moving closer to the Olympia, we were going to get better and better lineups. You know, El Dasani just needs to maybe dial it in 1%, and he's going to be da super dangerous. Kareth Bajo, another half a percent, and he's super dangerous. We're going to see these guys probably in Tampa. I know we're seeing Kareth. He's not done by any means. He's getting to that Olympia, and he's got, you know, a fire inside of him. And I know he was upset that he didn't win, and, and I don't blame him. I mean, when you come in at your best and you have all those tools, you figure, well, how can I lose, Right. And I'm sure every one of those three guys in that top three felt the same way because they brought it. And it was just that good of a lineup. In any other event we would have seen this year, each one of those guys probably would have won their respective, you know, their 212 divisions. So great, great outcome here. Super exciting for the fans. This is what we want to see. Battles at the top of the 212, at the Open, at the, at the Classic Physique Division. That's what's making this sport exciting. And we have to congratulate, you know, Keon Pearson in doing what he needed to do. He showed up. He brought it. He brought enough to win here. And that's all he had to do. He's qualified for that Olympia. He's going this year. And we're going to see this guy battling it out for an Olympia crown, for sure. For sure. And I know he's going to come back better. And we're going to see Kareth Bajo at that Olympia. And we're going to see Mohamed El Dasani at that Olympia. So... Hats off to those guys. Tremendous, tremendous win. And then if you take a look at the, uh, at the classic physique division and you see Darwin Uribe, I mean, this guy, at, these classic guys are coming out of nowhere. I mean, what, I don't think this guy was on many people's radar. He came in here and he delivered. You look at these pictures. This guy's got a beautiful physique. He flows. He's got conditioning. He's got presentation. That's what classic is all about. And that's what we love about Classic. That's what I love about Classic. And I can't wait to see this guy on Olympia stage. So congratulations to him. Look, a lot of great stuff happening in Chicago. Tomorrow, the Open Division we've all been waiting for. Ruli Winkler making his debut, trying to qualify for that Olympia. Hunter Labrada standing in his way and among other guys as well. So we'll, we'll check that out tomorrow. For now, though, I'm Dave Palumbo with an RX Muscle News Update.